Star Wars. We don't just have the Mandalorian this year. We we may not have a Star Wars movie. We may only we may only have a few more episodes of the Mandalorian season two. Boba Fett series has probably started filming. We have some more Star Wars series coming our way. We have tons of stuff coming on Disney Plus. This drop today, a very rare Tuesday drop. The Lego Star Wars Holiday Special is all about when Rey leaves her friends to prepare for Life Day as she sets off on an adventure to gain a deeper knowledge of the Force at, at a mysterious temple. She is hurled into a cross-timeline adventure. Will she make it back in time for Life Day? We have all our lovable stars. Lando, Luke Skywalker, Darth Maul, C-3PO... Han Solo, we even get a little bit of Baby Yoda in here, Rey, Greedo, Obi-Wan Wan Kenobi, Anakin, St Anakin Skywalker, the Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, Rose is, is back in here, actually voiced by the actress Kelly Marie Tran, who I loved, I loved in the last, uh, the last Jedi, we didn't get a whole lot of her in The Rise of Skywalker because Star Wars fans who didn't like her are just stupid. Uh, they they got a little too mean with her uh, because they didn't like her storyline. You didn't have to, to, to attack her. I loved you in that movie and I want to see more of you. I want to see a Rose TV show. Give Rose a chance. Hashtag Rose 2021 Star Wars Disney Plus series. And if you don't like it, well, that's fine. <laughs> this holiday special was better than it had any right being. Is it a great special? No, it's a good special, but it's one I wanted a little more from. It definitely, it definitely has a Lego feel to it. It has a Star Wars feel to it. It doesn't have a whole lot of Christmas holiday special feel to it. But it's very well written with some very funny jokes in here. We get Baby Yoda... In, in here, and there's a very nice joke with him that you saw in, in the trailer for it, if you've seen it. I liked this special a whole lot. The, the animation is beautiful. I love the Lego series that, that they have going. And Lego franchises. I loved the Lego Batman movie. I liked the Lego movie. I have not seen Lego Movie 2, the second part. I walked out of Lego Ninjago movie. Uh, I have not seen any of, of the other Star Wars, any of the other Star Wars, uh, Lego specials, but I will now because this was just so good. Well, it was good. It was better than it had any right being in my opinion. Uh, but for a straight to Disney plus special, definitely want to check out. I liked the interweaving stories. I'm not going to spoil anything. Let's just say you get a uh, double. So I'm going to give Lego Star Wars, the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special, a B. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely one that I wanted more from. But there's nothing I can really complain about to even get it down as low as some other critics. It's definitely a three and a half star, but it's on the lower end. So that's why it's getting a B on my letterbox. It is. It is uh, three and a half stars. So I will see you guys next time for the Princess Switch switched again. I also got some Gravitas Ventures titles. I got some Indicate Pictures. We have the Princess Switch. We have some Netflix stuff coming our 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 way. I may get a chance to 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 review uh, some other stuff. I'm trying to catch up on some Netflix, and I got a ton of twenty stuff, twenty twenty stuff to review for you guys. And I also got the new mutants coming up. So I will and Bill and Ted face the music. So I will see you guys next time.